Want to study Japanese language? Visit our Facebook page at Plastone School. Or you can click the link in the description. Sign up now and create your future with us. You can also visit our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to be updated on our latest videos. Plastone Language School Incorporated. Minasan konnichiwa, James Sensei des. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Welcome to Plastone Language School Incorporated channel. For today's video, we will discuss about teoku or teokimas. Okay, nani nani teoku? Ibig sabihin, to prepare something for future, to do something beforehand, will go ahead and do something. Okay, so ibig sabihin, si nani nani teoku is ginagamit natin if you want to prepare something for the future, okay? Or if you do something beforehand, okay? So ibig sabihin, gagawin natin siya in advance. So ito yung magiging formation natin, okay? So verb T form plus oku. Okay, so first, we have to conjugate the verb into T form, then plus oku. For example, we have here chukorimas. So first, iko-conjugate natin si chukorimas into T form. So magiging chukote, then add lang natin si oku. Okay, then for kaimas, so magiging katte, oku. Okay, then for shimas, conjugate lang natin siya into T form, so magiging shite, Oku. Okay, so ganito po yung magiging form natin kung bubo tayo ng sentence using this pattern. For example, Ashita, shiken ga arono de konbang benkyu shite okimasu. Ibig sabihin, since there will be an exam tomorrow, I will study for it tonight. Okay? So, yung verb natin is si benkyu shimasu. Okay, kinonjugate natin siya into t form, kaya naging benkyu shite. Then, plus okimasu. Okay? So, benkyu shite okimasu, ibig sabihin, I will study for it tonight in advance. Okay? So, gagawin niya yung action in advance for something. Then, example. Watashi to hawa goha no tsukotte okimasu. Ibig sabihin, my mom and I are going to make dinner prepare for this night, okay? So, yung verb natin is tsukorimas. So, kinonjugate natin siya into t-form, kaya naging tsukotte, then plus okimas, okay? Guha no tsukotte okimas, ibig sabihin, going to make dinner preparation for this night. Okay? So, gagawin nila yung action in advance, which is pagluluto ng dinner for preparation for this night, okay? Then, In colloquial speech, teoku can be constructed to toku. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, pagagamitin natin siya sa casual na pag-uusap. So, si teokimas is magiging toku. Okay? For example, si tsukot teoku is magiging tsukot toku. Okay? Then, si kat teoku naman is magiging kat toku. Then, for si teoku is magiging shit toku. So, tinanggal lang natin si teoku, pinalitan lang natin siya ng toku. Okay, so again, pag gagamitin natin siya sa casual na pag-uusap, so si teoku is papalitan natin ng toku. Okay? For example, Kuri kara gambat toku yo? Ibig sabihin, from now, I will do my best. Okay, so yung verb natin dito is si gambarimas. Okay, so kinonjugate natin siya into t-form, so magiging gambat te, then plus oku. Din dito, dahil ginamit natin siya sa casual conversation, so tinanggal natin si teoku, pinalitan natin ng toku, ibig sabihin, I will do my best in advance for something in the future, okay? Okay, so dito, yung situation, siguro meron siyang papalapit na exam. Then example. Okay, so yung sample natin kanina. Okay, so gagamitin natin siya into casual conversation. Okay? Ashita shiken ga arono de benkyu shitokimas. Ibig sabihin, since there will be an exam tomorrow, I will study for it tonight. Okay? So, pariho lang yung ibig sabihin niya, minasang. Pariho lang yung meaning niya sa sentence natin kanina. Okay? Si toko is madalas lang natin ginagamit in casual conversation. 
Okay? So, yung verb is ganun pa rin. So, benkyo shimas. So, kinonjugate natin sa t-form. Then, plus oku. Okay? Then, since ginamit natin siya into casual conversation, so, omit te oku, change into toku or tokimas. Ibig sabihin, I will study for it in advance tonight. Okay? Then, if you want to do something and leave it for a while, or let someone do something for a while, okay, pwede din natin gamitin ng ganitong pattern, okay? Attach oku in accusative T form verb. Okay, so bali, ganun pa rin yung magiging pattern natin. So, T form plus oku, okay? So, ang pagkakaiba lang dito minasang is yung verb na naka T form is naka accusative form, okay? For example, Kodomo ni suki na koto o yarashite oku. Ibig sabihin, let the children do what they like. Okay? So, yung verb natin minasang is naka causative form. Then, kinonjugate natin into t form. Then, plus oku. Okay? So, te oku lang din siya. Pero, yung verb natin is naka causative form. Okay? So, yarashite oku. Ibig sabihin, let them do what they like. Okay? So, yun po yung ibig sabihin at gamit in a sentence ng teoku or teokimas. Okay? So, again, si teoku, if you want to prepare something for future or if you want to do something beforehand or will go ahead and do something. Okay? So, yun po yung ibig sabihin niya. Okay? Wakarimashita ka? Hi, minasang idyo des. I hope may natutunan kayo sa video na to. And if you have any questions for this topic, so please ask your main teacher or your senseis or di kaya mag-comment kayo below, sasagutin po natin yan isa isa. Again, James Sensei Des, minasang nihon e kero yoni gambate kodasai.